This video covers how to use the Bear Morph as a single multi-touch MPE instrument in Bitwig. This is kind of a long-winded way of saying that you can put all your fingers on the morph without an overlay and do a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> Now, the setup for this is fairly simple. In the Sensel app, you want to add no overlay. So you just select no overlay and you set it up as an MPEXYZ pad. That's a lot of letters, uh, but it just sets up as a standard pad. Um, you might think it just sends out one note, but the cool thing is, is it sends out a note for each contact. So we can use that information uh, and separate it by each channel. So if we take a look at Bitwig, we have an instrument group, and in that instrument group, I have a device, a uh, channel separator. So if we were gonna do this from scratch, we would create a MIDI effect. So first I'm just gonna add a sampler, um, a Bitwig or FM4 would work too. So that sets up a sound source. And if you want to listen to this. All you hear is the same note hit, trip, hit several times. Um, so what we do is go ahead and create a MIDI effect. And we can do a MIDI um, filter, which is in here someplace. Note filter, no. Uh, that would be channel map. Channel filter is what I want. Okay, so I have several of these. What I want to do is set one up so it only listens to channel two. And then I'm going to add another effect of a MIDI pitch shift. And just for the sake of of convenience will make it an octave up or actually this one will leave unchanged and now I'm going to select both of these by holding shift and command G to group them um, and now I have the channel filter listening to only things on channel 2 uh, the other thing we want to do about this track is make sure that the channel all channels are set to same that is they weren't all reduced to channel 1 that way this channel filter will work. So now you can see I push down, push down one finger and I'm getting something on channel two. All right, now the second finger is coming in on channel three because that is how MPE works. So I copy, I just held down option and drag to create another one of these and I'll make that channel three. The pitch shifter will do an octave. And you would do that for all 15 channels, 2 through 16. So that's what I did here. And you can see that's all, each one has its own uh, pitch shifter, so I can create a big chord. Let's go ahead and turn off the transposition, map, this, all this stuff. So you can hear that this is one big chord. <laughs> Kind of a big ugly chord. Um, now I have this transposition map which I can use to change the key and do other things to it if I want. Um, and again I have a pitch shifter because I want to drop it down a few octaves. And now all of those notes from all those channels are going through this and the arpeggiator. So now the notes in the chord and the sound source is just a sampler and I have some cool uh, modulators for panning and then the expressions from each finger so I can use the pitch bend and I can use the vertical to affect the resonance and then pressure is set to velocity uh, Sorry, pressure is set to filter. I also have pressure set to speed. But that pressure is monophonic. 
tonic, so it's really only the last finger that I put down. So I can use this finger to sort of control my speed. affecting the release. So when it's up here, the release is high. Absolutely incredible sound design possibilities. Uh, the samples in here are just um, sampled waveforms from a vintage Kukla synthesizer. So they have a lot of nice character to them. And uh, then I also have an effects chain to help control some of those resonances, which get a little bit out of control, and some EQ to kind of boost the, boost the bass a little bit. multi-band compressor which really helps tamp down those high frequencies so the high frequencies I've um, added a compressor and dropped the output a little bit so that just kind of tames them so that's an interesting way to use your morph using MPE in Bitwig Studio Pro.